Close your eyes and watch your breath. And really watch the breath. In other words, keep with it. You're not going to understand what the breath can do for you unless you really stay with it for a long period of time. So each time the breath comes in, remind yourself this is where you want to stay. Make a promise to yourself and then stick with it. This quality of truthfulness is what enables us to know the truth. If you do a little bit here, a little bit there, you don't know really don't really know what the results of doing those things for a long term would be. And the Buddha is saying that you've really tried to develop skillful qualities in the mind. In the long term it pays off. It pays off also in the short term, but sometimes not so obviously, but over the long term you begin to see that the results of the path get deeper and deeper and more and more satisfying. But that requires that you really stick with it. So this quality of truthfulness, as I said, is what enables us to know the truth. As John Lee said, if you're not true to the Buddhist teachings, the Buddhist teachings won't be true to you, because you won't know them. You can know them only when you practice them. And even though he says everything should be tried to see what the results are before you give it 100% confidence, still you have to have enough confidence in it to at least give it a try, and give it a serious try, and make sure that you're the type of person who can not only make the effort but also judge the results. It requires that you put some effort into it and also that you be very careful in watching yourself. As the Buddha said, the kind of person he wanted to take on as a student was someone who, one, was truthful and two, was observant. So try to have those two qualities always in your mind as you're practicing. You've got to be truthful, you've got to be observant. If you have those two qualities, then together they take you far.